We just got confirmation that the brand new iPad Pro coming at Apple's May 7th event is gonna come with a brand new, never before seen M4 chip. Yes, we just got confirmation from Mark Gurman who said this past Sunday that there's a good chance the iPad Pro is getting the M4 chip. And just this morning, he literally said on Twitter, the iPad Pro will run the M4 chip. So he seems extremely confident. So with that said, where did these leaks come from to begin with? And how does everything make sense? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you five really good reasons for why it makes sense for Apple to give the iPad Pro the M4 chip. A couple of months back, we had a huge leak about chip identifiers and 16 products coming this year with Apple Silicon chips, and one of them was a new iPad Pro, except there was a little bit of confusion because it had a brand new chip identifier of T8132. But the problem is that this chip identifier does not exist yet. It's completely unannounced, and we know that because the M3 chip that we have already uses T8122. And on top of that, the M2 chip uses T8112. So T8132 has to be something brand new, which points to this being the M4 chip. But at the time when that leak came out, it didn't really make much sense, so people didn't pay attention to it. But then 9to5Mac leaked the new iPad Pro identifier numbers with four of them, iPad 16.3, 16.4, 16.5, 16 and 16.6. And this was really weird because all of the M3 chip Max used the number 15 instead of 16. And all of the M2 Max, including the M2 iPad Pro, used the number 14. And all of the M1 Max and iPad Pros and everything else used the number 13. So the number 16 in these new iPad Pro identifiers clearly skips the M3 chip, which hints at it being a new M4 iPad Pro. So those are the leaks that are providing solid evidence alongside Mark Gurman now finally believing in the iPad Pro coming with the M4. So it seems like a done deal. So with that said, why would Apple do this? Why would they give it the M4 chip when they can easily just give it the M3 and call it a day? Well, let's go through the five reasons why. For reason number one, the iPad Pro doesn't really get updated very often, basically every one and a half years. So they might wanna jump ahead of the competition to make sure nobody can catch up because we've already seen the M3 and it's not that impressive. And seeing as, Apple is getting huge competition coming from companies like Qualcomm with their Snapdragon X Elite and other new ARM chips that are getting very, very competitive, especially on the graphics side. And as for reason number two, Apple made the 2018 iPad Pro so good that there wasn't really anything compelling ever since then. Even when we got the 2020 iPad Pro update with the A12Z chip and dual cameras, that wasn't really that great. Then we got the M1 iPad Pro, then we had the M2 iPad Pro, those were cool and all, but you couldn't really use all that performance, they were basically the same iPad Pro from an exterior and physical standpoint as well as features, but nothing else was really compelling. So the idea here is that the M4 chip would be a huge shock and it would provide a big enough boost that it'll finally be extremely compelling and enticing for 2018 iPad Pro model owners to finally upgrade after six years. And now for reason number three, the truth is that the current M3 chip that we have right now is kind of boring. And we've seen it already in the M3 Max, especially the M3 MacBook Air. And that was a nice update, but it wasn't compelling at all. The M3 chip 
not a big deal. We're still recommending people to buy the M2 MacBook Air on sale on Amazon for $850 because it's a great deal. And yes, the new M3 chip is a nice little upgrade, but it's not that much faster. Sure, the new GPU features with hardware ray tracing and DLSS, metal effects, whatever, is all nice, but they're not that useful on iPadOS software. So Apple basically needs something else, something big and something new to entice buyers. Well, the M4 chip is rumored to have a much faster neural engine for AI processing. So if Apple focuses the new M4 iPad Pro on being able to run all of the new AI features and doing a great job at it, it'll be hugely enticing for buyers. And especially if Apple's planning to raise the prices of the iPad Pro, which they definitely are, they need to make sure that they upgrade everything to make it a massive banger of an update, just like they did in 2018 when they also raised the prices. But it was so impressive that nobody cares that it was more expensive and a lot of people upgraded, so Apple's gotta do the same thing. So to make people want to spend the extra money, they need to make sure that the entire package, the entire iPad Pro is a big upgrade from top down, including the dual panel hybrid OLED displays, which will apparently be the best tablet displays ever made, as well as the redesign being super thin, only 5.0 millimeters, having thinner bezels, potentially even MagShare reverse wireless charging support. And of course, on top of all that, the M4 chip is gonna seal the deal in the minds of the consumer. 9 to 5 mac actually ran a poll asking people if the M4 chip would entice them into buying the new iPad Pro, and surprisingly, the answer, yep, absolutely, was the winner with 36.5% of the votes, and 27% said they were not sure, and they'll wait and see, and that's actually really impressive poll results considering just the M4 chip being added. And now moving on to number four, iPad sales have not been doing so well recently, so Apple needs to do more this time around compared to the embarrassingly bad M2 iPad Pro upgrade, which got nothing new other than the chip and the hover feature. Adding the M4 chip as a huge surprise will be a big enough bonus for people. And the big idea is that Apple is gonna release the M4 chip in the iPad Pro first, so the people who really care about Apple Silicon and want the latest and greatest have to buy the iPad Pro if they want the new M4 chip because they're not gonna have any other Mac options potentially until this fall. So if you want the M4 chip, you gotta buy the iPad Pro and that could greatly boost sales. And finally, for number five, since the iPad Pro only gets updated every year and a half, if Apple gave it the M3 chip, they would have to continue making that M3 chip until the fall of 2025. However, we know that the M3 chip was built on TSMC's one-off special three nanometer node called N3B, which apparently every company decided to skip except for Apple who wanted to have three nanometer chips first. All of the other companies rejected N3B and chose to wait for the more mainstream N3E node, which has a completely different lithographical design, which is compatible with future three nanometer nodes, while N3B isn't compatible at all. And because of that, TSMC likely wants to ditch N3B and stop making those chips using that node and close all those lines as soon as they possibly can once N3E lines get up and running. So with that said, the M3 chip family's N3B node will probably be a short-lived node. And seeing as the new iPad Pro will sell for another year and a half, that might have a big enough conflict that Apple decided to just skip the M3 chip and give it the M4 right away so they can completely ditch the M3 chip lines as soon as this fall and next spring. But what we do know for sure is that there's a mountain of evidence for the new iPad Pros to get the M4 chip at Apple's May 7th event, and we are gonna be here for it. So click that circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one, and check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.